Hello and welcome everyone to this new lecture which is part 5th of the short short prelim series. Today we are going to discuss fauna which is very relevant for the prelims 2024 and, and every year at least 4 to 5 questions are being asked from the fauna. So the general pattern which has been observed uh, taking into account the last 10 year questions and I have analyzed, I analyzed the last 10 year ke question and I have the general pattern. Nikala hai. The pattern says that around 4 to 5 questions from Fona are asked, which makes it roughly around 10 marks. So, 10 marks, you can understand the importance of 10 marks. You can understand the importance of 10 marks. Line ke udhar ho sakte ho. So, the thing which you have to focus on is the questions are related to habitat and their habits. So, what is their habitat? What is their habitat? If you have a peculiar agar koi characteristic feature, hai, us pe aapko focus karna. you don't have to delve into too much details. Jo current affairs mein hai, us pe aap thoda focus kar sakte ho. Otherwise, habitat and habit. The two H are the is the mantra, right? This is again the point that in general focus on common fauna. Don't run behind very uncommon fauna. Right? Koi naya janwar mil gaya kahin western ghats mein kuch ho gaya. Uske piche itna mat bhago. Thik hai, if you have, if you come across it, try to remember it but don't run behind it, right? So the thing is that you have to prepare the common fauna which is in, uh, which is very, uh, you know, common and but you have to read about their habitat and their habit so now you can see this is the 2023 question uh, 2023 prelims question if you can see that uh, which of the following makes a tool with a stick to scrape insects from a hole in a tree or a log of wood so basically this is asking about a peculiar habit peculiar characteristics of the uh, fauna right of the animal whatever they are asking so this question Although even if you have not read about these and see uh, this is fishing cat, this is otter, this is sloth bear, this is orangutan. So all these are very common animals and you don't you have to focus on common animals. And if this question even if you don't know the answer you can solve this by trick. For that you have to uh, you have to see our lecture which is about tips and tricks right. Now this, uh, this is the second question which of the following organisms perform waggle dance for others of their kin to indicate the direction and the distance to a source of their food. This is again about a peculiar feature or a important characteristic. Again butterflies, dragonflies, honeybees and wasps. So you have to just read the important uh, animals, right? Now lion-tailed macaw, malawa, shivit, samba deer, which nocturnal or most active after sunset, right? So again this is again a habit question, okay? Habit or particular characteristics. One we will also discuss one uh, animal which is which is also active after sunset and that is leopard right then these are again the question this is about indian squirrels and this is about their habits this is about what they are right so this is a very easy question then this is about marsupials this can be a uh, not naturally found in india and marsupials can thrive only in mountain grassland with no predators so right the, again this questions can this this type of question can be solved with the tips and tricks and for that you have to watch our lecture right this is a, again about a organization this is a bit tricky question okay if, if you know it it's fine if, if you don't know it it's fine right so important fauna to prelims uh, to follow for prelims 2024 i have identified certain fauna and i will discuss all of them but spotted deer you have you have to prepare this fauna on your own we will discuss the rest of these so i have identified these based on the current affairs which were going on and the trend which is there right so without wasting much time let's uh, let us focus on the otter otter is a mammal right otter is, there are 13 species and three are found in india so this is the first most important thing then there are smooth coated otter eurasian otter and asian small clawed otter it means the claws are small so these you can see the picture smooth coated smooth coated means the coat is not as thick right and this is the eurasian ot otter and you can see the co and the fur here is a bit more thicker because it is in eurasia and this is a cold climate then there is asian small clawed otter now smooth coated otter so habitat what is the habitat it prefers slow flowing waters so basically jahan bhi pani dheere dheere chalta hai wo aisi jagah isko pasand hai jaise ki rivers lakes estuaries right inundated rice fields seas isko nahi pasand hai theek hai 
they also re reside in mangrove forest mangrove forest again you have a slow wetland sort of a thing and they are there they live in dense this is the uh, important thing that they live in dense right so if you see they live in dense then they preferred rocky areas near water bodies so the prefer the, the preference is that they will prefer rocky areas because they live in dense and rock dense can be formed only in rocky areas i hope this is clear and this is logical also ye logical bhi sound karna this is the way to read a subject you have to make everything logical there is a logic behind everything and you have to connect that and you have to ask that logic and this will help you in uh, solving the prelims questions also it is not about knowledge नॉलेज सबको बराबर है लगभग लगभग सबने सेम किताबें पढ़ी हैं वहां अगर आप अप्लाई कर पा रहे हो इफ यू आर एबल टू अप्लाई लॉजिक देन ओनली योर सिलेक्शन विल बी गारंटेड अदरवाइज यू विल बी स्कोरिंग सेम एज अदर क्राउड एंड यू विल नॉट हैव दैट एज सो लॉजिक विल डेवलप वेन यू आर स्टडिंग थ्रू लॉजिक एंड वेन यू आर अप्लाइंग दट लॉजिक इन प्रिलिम्स टेस्ट सीरीज इज राइट देन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द हैबिट हैबिट इज दिस इज अ स्मॉल this thing that they are strong swimmers because they are near water bodies they hunt in groups and they travel in a v formation going upstream right so they travel when fishing they travel in a v formation when fishing fishing it means they are carni vorus right males are polygamous mating with up to four females the females often take their breeding dens and maintain small family groups of a mated pair with up to four offspring right so there was an elephant question in upsc which asked about how they live as a family so this can be a important point with respect to that that okay male are polygamous females often take their own breeding dens and maintain small family groups okay so this is a family group of a mated pair with up to four is four of spring right so you can see here this is the habitat and this is found in southeast asia also right so more more or less in, in india it is found everywhere right then coming to the eurasian otter and as the name suggests it is from eurasia it is found in eurasian regions so from eurasia it means it is found in a relatively cold climate and that is why it is called cold hill and mountain streams it is found right habit vocalization includes a high pitched whistle between a mother and her cubs twittering noises produced during play fighting and cat like noises when fighting right important point is that they have a high pitched whistle right they have a high pitched whistle this is the important point when they are communicating with their mother there is a high pitched whistle right what is the important news item the important news item that eurasian otter was first time in kerala was found right so it was found in chinnar wildlife sanctuary you can see here it is a habitat and it is chinnar wildlife sanctuary okay and the scientific name is lutra lutra right so i think it is clear third is asian small clawed otter as you can see it is, it has very small claws right so they have a web like claw right so they have a web like claws for example in our fingers there is a gap right but in in the fingers of otters there is no gap and this this part is also connected right so which helps them in hunting in india it is mostly found along the hill stream of western ghats in some region of western himalayas foothills mangroves of east calcutta and sundarbans and also several sites in odisha right so it is very clear that this is also present throughout the india but again it is also present in the hill certain himalayan hill hilly areas right so western himalayas mangroves of the east calcutta and sundarbans are natural places so particularly in in the hilly areas and also in the mangrove so it is in the hilly areas and mangroves and odisha is the newly site where it was discovered they may say that it is found in odisha asian small clod yes it is found in odisha so if you summarize it small smooth coated otter in slow moving water and all over india eurasian otter in hills and also found in kerala kahan pe kerala mein chinnar wildlife sanctuary right ये तीन जो तीन हमने अभी पढ़े हैं इसको याद रखिएगा ये इंपॉर्टेंट हैं तीनों ऑफन क्वेश्चन मे बी आस्क फ्रॉम देम 
एंड आप लोगों का ये काम है कि मुझे एक कमेंट बॉक्स में बताना है कि व्हाट इज देयर आई स्टेटस राइट आप मुझे कमेंट बॉक्स में बताइए ये तीनों का आई स्टेटस क्या है देन लेट एस कम टू द नेक्स्ट विच इज लियोपर्ड लियोपर्ड एंड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑफन इन न्यूज आपने ये न्यूज में सुना होगा मैन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट के केसेस बहुत होते हैं जहां पे मोस्ट ऑफ देम मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट इज लियोपर्ड सो लियोपर्ड बिलोंग्स टू द कैट फैमिली एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द रीसेंट सर्वे द हाईएस्ट नंबर ऑफ लियोपर्ड पॉपुलेशन इज फाउंड इन मध्य प्रदेश विच इज अराउंड थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड राइट सो अ क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ट अबाउट द पॉपुलेशन इट हैज बीन आस्ट प्रीवियसली इन यूपीएससी एंड इट कैन बी आस्क अबाउट द पॉपुलेशन राइट फॉलोड बाई महाराष्ट्र कर्नाटका तमिलनाडु सो इट इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ओवर इंडिया एक्सेप्ट गुजरात एंड द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ इट राइट हियर इट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट अदरवाइज इट इज प्रेजेंट नाउ इफ यू सी लॉजिकली वाई इट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन दीज एरिया सो फर्स्टली हियर इट इज क्लाइमेट द क्लाइमेट इज एक्सट्रीम हियर देयर आर नो फॉरेस्ट एरियाज इन हरियाणा इन पंजाब Similarly, in Himachal, it is because of the extreme climate which is there. Yeah, right. So here, this you can find snow leopard, not common leopard. So in Odisha, the number of leopard dropped from Odisha. In Odisha, it has decreased. In Uttarakhand, in population declined from eight thirty nine to six fifty two. In Odisha, number of uh, dropped from seven sixty to five sixty two, and in Uttarakhand, the population declined. Right. केरला तेलंगाना छत्तीसगढ़ बिहार एंड गोवा टू रिपोर्टेड पॉपुलेशन डिक्लाइन सो पॉपुलेशन डिक्लाइन हैज बीन नोटिस बट पॉपुलेशन ओवरऑल हैज इंक्रीज राइट अकॉर्डिंग टू द लेटेस्ट सर्वे सो दिस यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड सो दिस इज द हैबिटेट एंड जनरली इट इज इन डेसिडियस फॉरेस्ट इन फॉरेस्ट इट इज देयर बट द मैन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इज इंक्रीजिंग दैट इज वाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ अगर हैबिट्स की बात करें तो लेपर्स आर एल्यूजिव सॉलिटरी एनिमल्स so this is important they don't hunt in groups and leopards are powerful swimmers they can swim this is important and most of you must not be aware about these they can climb trees you have often seen that leopard climbs trees in in folk stories also there are something which are uh, which say about some something about this in some places they are nocturnal although they uh, although they operate from dusk to dawn but in some places they are nocturnal so if a if a statement comes agar statement aata hai ki leopard are nocturnal so it will be true right because some at some places they are so it means they are nocturnal right now the other important fauna from uh, exam from exam perspective is ghadiyal so this belongs to the crocodilian family so crocodilian family you must have heard that there are alligators right then there is ghadiyal and there is one more animal which is which belongs to crocodilian family and you have to tell me that in the comment box so how you identify whether it is a ghadiyal or not so the identification is that it has the longest snout right this this is called snout and this is longest in case of ghadiyal and you can see here there is a hump there is a hump which is called as ghada and that is why it is called ghadiyal ghada it means a pot and there is a pot like feature this is why it is called ghadiyal so what are its habitat habitat generally includes the rivers the rivers which are fresh water right so chambal chambal river tributaries of ganga river and in nepal right rapti and narayani rivers so it is generally found in this belt and the rivers which are there okay so if a question is asked on ghadiyal then this is the habitat okay the ghadiyal reserves of india are located in three states so where are the ghadiyal reserve uttar pradesh madhya pradesh and rajasthan and there is one common thing about these three that chambal passes through all these so is it logical or not ye logical laga nahi hai aapko ke ghadiyal reserve in teen states mein honi chahiye kyun kyunki chambal in teen states se milti hai to agar aap isko rat rahe ho 
कि उत्तर प्रदेश मध्य प्रदेश और राजस्थान में चंबल रिजर्व है देन यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू कनेक्ट इट इन द एग्जाम सो आपको लॉजिकली पढ़ना है कैसे बिकॉज चंबल पास इज थ्रू एंड चंबल इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हैबिटेड फॉर घड़िया एंड दैट इज वाई द रिजर्व विल बी इन दीज स्टेट इट इज एज सिंपल इज दैट सो दिस इज द हैबिट अनलाइक अदर क्रोकोडाइल्स द घड़िया फीड ऑन वॉम ब्लडेड स्पीशीज एंड इवन द लार्जेस्ट घड़ियाल Adults feed exclusively on fish, right? So this is important. So warm-blooded species पे feed करते हैं ये and adult जो घड़ियाल होते हैं वो exclusively on fish पे feed करते हैं तो आप ये दांत देख रहे हो जो घड़ियाल के ये दांत पहने हैं इससे क्या होता है कि जो slippery fish 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 की जो skin होती है वो बहुत slippery होती है सो so, इसकी मदद से वो उसको पकड़ पाता है राइट नाउ लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट बॉक्स व्हाट इज द आई यू सी एन स्टेटस ऑफ दिस एनिमल नाउ द लास्ट एनिमल व्हिच इज इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जाम पर्सपेक्टिव इज फिशिंग कैट राइट फिशिंग कैट सो इज इट अ फिश इज इट अ कैट इट इज अ कैट राइट एंड इट इज अ स्टेट एनिमल ऑफ वन स्टेट एंड यू हैव टू टेल मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स विच इज द स्टेट वेयर इट इज स्टेट एनिमल right and also the its iucn status because recently there were some efforts to enhance its population and it is commonly found in wetlands our favorite habitats and that is why sundarbans is one of the most important habitat and that is why it is the state animal of west bengal and it is also found along the foothills of the himalayas along the coast so it is Usually found in the wetlands and the uh, along the foothills of the Himalayas, which is by this is the foot uh, Shivalik range, and here it is foothills, right? So it is found here. Apart from fish, also preys on frogs, snake birds, cetaceans, birds, right? So fishing cat because it fishes, it kills fishes, but does it kill only fishes? no it is wrong it not only kills and eat fish but also frogs snakes birds and everything all right so this is the important thing which you have to remember about this fishing cat so this, let me summarize it leave it lives in wetlands in sundarban is the major thing then the foothill of the himalayas then it feeds on other animals also it is the state animal of west bengal and recently efforts have been made to enhance its population it is, it was all over the news right so focus on these topics and don't run behind too many fauna this is my basic thing don't run behind too many fauna you have to learn some basic things about the common fauna the fauna which is in news i will provide a list if you want and you can prepare those fauna and it some at least 60 to 70% question will be from that and whatever rest is there nobody knows about it so you need not to worry but you have to get those 60 to 70% right then only you will cross the cut off right thank you very much for watching this lecture and watch other lectures also which is on rivers which is on hills and which is on ir places because even if there is a chance that you get 10 questions from our this series short short prelims then you are 20 plus it means that you are in right in a in a exam where it is 80% 80 number is the cut off you will get 20 you are getting 20 marks just by spending so less time then you should spend time on this right thank you very much